How's it everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Court. I'm Kent, the creator of this channel, and on today's string review, we're taking a look at the Dunlop Explosive Red. Let's check it out. So this Dunlop Explosive Red is made by Dunlop, which is a Japanese-based company. I thought this string was made in Japan, but I was wrong. It says on the back here, it's made in Germany. This is just a traditional round poly, a red string. There aren't too many bells and whistles. It is $14.99 a set or $229.99 for a whole reel, which is pretty pricey. Anything that's above around $15 for poly, I wouldn't consider super expensive, but it's definitely not what I would consider budget either. So for a string that doesn't have too many innovations, I'm surprised it's that expensive. Dunlop and Yonex strings tend to be on the pricier side though. So this explosive red comes in two gauges, the 130 and the 125 millimeter. I'm trying out the 125 because I like thinner gauges for more power, more spin, and more feel. This uh, Dunlop explosive red has a heat treatment on the outer coating. And so it's supposed to keep the coating very slippery, reduce that friction so it keeps sliding and snapping back well. It doesn't saw into each other so it maintains durability. And the tension maintenance is supposed to be above average as well. But apart from those, there aren't too many other innovations. So let's check out my setup. So I got it strung up in my Dunlop uh, Srixon CX200. And I got it strung at 52 in the mains and 50 in the crosses. So that's my usual reference tension. So anytime I test out a round red string, I always compare it to Solinko Outlast and Yonex Poly Tour Fire. Those are two of my favorite round red strings. I have tried Technifiber Pro Red Code and Pro Red Code Wax as well. And I'm actually thinking that this might play more similar to the Technifiber because of that heat treatment, which Technifiber also does with its thermal core technology. So without further ado, let's jump on the court and let's see if this red is really that explosive. So let's start with the pros of the Dunlop Explosive Red. My first thought when I bought this string was if it was going to play similarly to the Solinko Outlast or the Yonex Poly Tour Fire. Both are round red polys. From the first hit, I noticed that this string was much more powerful than either the Outlast or the Fire. Explosive is a great name for this string. This easy power was both a blessing and a curse, but since we're talking about the pros, let's stick with how the explosive power benefited me. First, the flat serve. This was by far my best shot with the explosive red. My flat serve percentage was much higher than usual and I could immediately put the pressure on my opponent. I noticed a bit of extra speed on my flat serves that created return errors and easy points. The easy power definitely benefited my two-handed backhand as well. This is where I tend to like slightly springier strings. I have difficulty generating pace on my backhand unless I can really rotate my hips and put my weight behind the shot. But with the explosive red, I could hit decent pace without having to put my back into it. My backhand is more flat, so it tends to fly lower over the net, so having a string that can assist in depth was a blessing. I rarely felt I was put on the defensive when I was hitting defensive backhands. On the forehands, I appreciated the power when I was rallying from behind the baseline. I did have to adjust my wrist motion a bit, but as long as I kept the loose wrist and came over the ball early during contact, I could keep the ball inside the baseline and hit heavy forehands. Redirecting pace was a little more difficult and I had to concentrate really hard to hit the sweet spot because anything hit outside would fly to the fence. But if I struck it dead center, my shots felt so satisfying and the pop sensation sent great feedback to my arm. I found myself hitting left and right to move my opponent around more often than I was aiming deep into corners because of the power. I felt more comfortable swinging 75% toward the sidelines because the string had enough power that a 75% swing was enough, but more importantly, I felt I couldn't attack deep with consistency with the explosive red. This string is also very comfortable. I know I'm not the best judge when it comes to comfort because I like stiff strings, and to me anything that is softer than like alu power, I would consider soft, but I still felt this string would be a comfortable option for those with mild arm issues. I could really feel the ball sinking in and sitting on the strings. The string bed had a lot of flexibility. 
It's not as soft as the Head Sonic Pro I reviewed earlier, but it feels softer than Solinco Outlast, which in my opinion is a firm but comfortable string. As for spin potential, it's obviously not as high as shaped or edged strings like the Dunlop Black Widow, but it is still at a respectable level. I had to focus on my pronation more, but when I hit my kick serve clean, I noticed the ball bouncing away from my opponent's strike zone. This string has a nice slippery coating due to that heating technology and it maintains its spin potential pretty well. I didn't notice a drop in spin potential during this playtest. I probably still wouldn't recommend this string to anyone who swings more vertically a la Nadal. The explosive red just has too much trampoline effect and the spin doesn't bring the ball down fast enough to counteract the power. And lastly the response. I was on the fence on whether to put this in the pros or cons category but ultimately I decided to put feel in the pros because I had a decent amount of feedback when I hit the sweet spot. My touch shots felt okay but I clipped the net more than usual on some of my angles and drop shots. The best way I can describe the feel of the explosive red is that it lies directly in the middle between Headlinks Tour, which is my favorite crisp poly, and RPM Blast, which is one of my least favorite polys because of the muted feel. I would honestly prefer something more crisp, but the explosive red didn't feel like a dead string by any means. Now let's move into the cons of the Dunlop Explosive Red. I'm sorry to say this, but overall I didn't vibe well with this string because my aggressive style combined with this string's power is just too much to control. This is the reason I said the power was a double-edged sword. The biggest weakness with this string is the lack of control, especially on shots hit outside the sweet spot. A silver lining here is that anything hit outside the sweet spot had no jarring sensation, so it was comfortable. However, the ball rebounds off the string bed with too much energy and this caused me to send a lot of my aggressive shots past the baseline. Running forehands were especially bad. I like to use my momentum to swing my hips around on running forehands and these few shots flew to the fence almost every time. I had no control unless I had time to set my feet, turn my shoulders, and swing with discipline. My return of serves were so erratic that I only felt confident swinging fully on my backhand, which is my more consistent return. The explosive red is very springy, so chip returns ended up landing high and it wasn't comfortable following it to the net. Speaking of the net, my volley game was very poor with this string setup. Overheads and high volleys were great because I was swinging down so I didn't have to worry much about sending the ball long, but the mid-high volleys, low dig volleys, and especially reflex volleys were inconsistent. I couldn't get a good grasp on how far my volleys were going to go. I have a very compact volley swing so I usually don't send many volleys long. Even during warm-ups, I was consistently hitting volleys inches behind the baseline. The string isn't especially grippy either, so I couldn't impart any cut or underspin to get the ball skidding low. Slices from the baseline also launched much higher than I wanted and my opponent could consistently return my slices around their waist level. This meant I couldn't utilize my chip and charge strategy where I slice low at my opponent's feet, come up to net, and volley their shot that they are forced to dig up. I just lacked confidence when swinging more than 75% and my game was very erratic. If I were to have a mulligan with this string, I would probably string it around 56 to firm up the string bed and get more control. Also, because this is a softer poly, it doesn't hold tension as well as advertised. It's still okay, but it doesn't have a sharp drop off in tension like Alu Power, but as I was playing with it, I could feel the string bed getting looser. I played a lot of singles with this string so I put more abuse on it than usual so that could have contributed to the faster tension loss but by the third play session this string felt pretty different because of the launch angle. Another reason I would string this at 56 if I were to use it again or maybe just keep the tension at 52 and just pre-stretch. Overall I can't help but compare the explosive red to Solinko Outlast which in my opinion is just a better string overall because of the better control, firmer feel and better tension maintenance. That's not to say this string doesn't have a target audience though. So who is the Dunlop Explosive Red string for? I believe it's for intermediate to advanced level players who are looking for a little more power in their game but don't want to wreck their arm. This could be a good gateway poly for those who are looking to transition from synthetic gut to polyester. Maybe you're coming from multi and want to experiment with poly hybrids for the first time. The Explosive Red is a good option because it's more forgiving in terms of stiffness than something like Alu Power. If you prefer a more muted string bed, the Explosive Red leans more towards that side. It's also very durable, it doesn't slide and create friction so if you're looking for a premium string that will last for months without you having to cut it, this could be for you. All in all, I prefer a crisper and stiffer poly with good control so the Black Widow is more my flavor. So what do you guys think of Dunlop strings? 
I've never seen a review of this explosive red, so if you've tried it, let us know in the comments and let me know your favorite Dunlop string because I'm always looking for more strings to try. Thank you for watching this review of the Dunlop explosive red string right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.